Hello, my name is Actor Thomas, and welcome to this week's video on here my channel. So, in this video, I thought I would do a few uh, casting suggestions for characters for Marvel Cinematic Universe characters that I myself would personally like to see done. Um, so, here are a few that uh, are my suggestions. I hope that you enjoy. So, the first character that I was looking at was actually Cal Borson, who is actually the brother of Odin, who is uh, the king of Asgard. Um, Cal himself is um, the Norse god of fear, and I must say, Character that I, the actor that I was thinking about playing this character was actually uh, the British actor Sir David Jason. Now, the second character I was thinking about was uh, Maria Stark, uh, mother of Tony and wife of Howard. Um, she's never actually been seen in the films, um, but she has been seen in the tie-in comics for the Iron Man movies and as you're aware um, her husband has two actors playing him simultaneously in um, the later in life versions and the younger versions of him being played by two different actors so I was thinking that might be a good idea for the, the, his wife's character as well so the older versions of her I was considering Catherine Zeta-Jones and for the younger version I was thinking of Emma Stone to play her. Now the third character I was thinking about was Norman Osborn who uh, is I'm hoping may be introduced in one of the standalone Spider-Man films and the actor that I was considering think, uh, thinking about having him played by was actually Michael Keaton. Now, um, the fourth character that I've been umming and ahhing about for a long time and I would love them to do would be um, Adam Bashir, or known by his secret identity of Blue Marvel. Now, I myself have got two ideas about this. Um, I would like them to do a sort of um, Netflix series where the character of Blue Marvel you get to see throughout, throughout the years because if you don't know the character of Blue Marvel um, I'll give you a bit a brief outline the idea of him is um, in the late 1950s early 60s um, he had a successful superhero um, career and then in 1962 he had a fight with his arch enemy and his costume was ripped and the public saw that he was a black man and the then president of the United States of America John F. Kennedy uh, declared that um, he has to stop because they think that he's done a wonderful job but they cannot allow a black man to um, look after white people in the 1960s and I just think it would be very interesting to do maybe two series on Netflix um, one where you see him just before he um, during his superhero career and after his superhero career up to maybe um, the millennium and then everything goes quiet and then um, he gets introduced by um, a Marvel film into one of the Avengers films perhaps and the two actors I'm thinking about was a British actor who, let me just and um, Alfonso who played um, Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air now the f fifth character I think I think about and I must say I'm really hoping they do this is as the main villain for uh, the first Spider-Man film which will be Craven the Hunter 
and I think an actor that would be really good to play this part would actually be Vinnie Jones. Now, finally, the next casting I was thinking about was for Harry Osborne, who likewise uh, would probably be introduced either in um, Captain America's Civil War, along with Peter Parker, or in the first of the Spider-Man standalone films. And I was thinking of Jack Clearson, who played uh, Joffrey Baratheon in the Game of Thrones series. I think he would bring a very interesting cockiness to the, the character that we haven't seen before. Um, well, thank you very much for listening and watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you agree with any of my suggestions, um, please um, either leave a comment below or um, maybe even suggest some other actors for these roles or even other roles that you think would be good to have a TV series or a film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I shall see you next week. Goodbye.